Hey, what's going on guys? So today I wanted to uh, talk about neck knives or necklaces, I guess. Um, this is that uh, Walmart knife, all right? This is the new Ozark Trail that I saw the last time I was at Old Wally World. And um, it's working out okay, you know, for a neck knife. It is chunky, it's kind of big. Uh, if you remember, this sheath came with this piece here. All right, so it does have a clip, so most people don't like, you know, any kind of uh, neck knives or anything. Obviously, we have a swivel pocket clip, so you can just use this in the belt if you want. But the second I saw it on the shelf there, or the pegs or whatever it was hanging from, I knew I would neck carry it. So I was eyeballing it, wanted to make sure this would pop off, and it does. So, video is not so much on this knife. I will talk about this in the future. I do have my opinions on it. It's actually on this necklace, all right? So actually, let me grab my phone, because I want to give someone credit for this. I had a message, I can't even tell you how long ago, from someone who kind of gave me this idea, this was like, I want to say like a year. It's ridiculous, eight months, 10 months, a year, something like that. I'm flipping through my, uh, my phone here because I took a little screen cap. And I gotta find it now. Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is, okay. So, I have a message, this is from Philip uh, Arsenal. So Philip sent me a message and let me show you, let me just zoom in here real quick. I'm going to get rid of the message part, but he was talking about um, having neck knives and doing like a combination paracord and ball and chain. So you get the paracord look, you get the paracord comfort, but you get the uh, advantage of ball and chain in two aspects. The first one is that you can snap it on, so you can actually have a, a shorter length on your chest. So like when I do paracord, I always have to do an adjustable so I can slip it over my head easily, but then I adjust it so it, it sits higher on the chest. I don't want it dangling around my stomach. I want it on my chest, you know, below my neck. So the ball and chain, obviously you can get an exact length that you want and then you, you clip it on and off, which is great. The other advantage is for anyone who's concerned about safety, all right? When you have straight up paracord, it's not gonna break easily, all right? If you have, especially tied off like that. So. Some people are a little concerned if like they get into a fight and someone grabs their knife and pulls, they can control their head and move around. Or I don't know, let's say you just fall somewhere and it happens to hook on something and now it's choking you. Some people have that concern. So this is really the best of both worlds. Now I tried this the other day. I mean, I kept trying to <laughs> do this and I, it got put off and put off and put off and put off. Like I said, Philip sent me this message many moons ago. Um, but I finally just said, look, I got to do this now, right? I didn't have any ball and chain for a while. I think that's what it was. I attempted it once before and I was looking around. I, I had ball and chain pieces, but I didn't have the connector or they weren't long enough, whatever the case was. Now, this particular ball and chain was a huge pain to get through the sheath of the 550. All right, this, I want to say, came from like a ceiling fan, a pull, you know, the pull uh, string or chain, I guess. Um, so uh, this was a little bit too thick for this project, but... I lost patience quickly and my wife took over and she was able to get it through there. She used one of the inner strands to fish it through. But man, was it a pain in the butt. If you have a normal, like let's say you get a neck knife of some kind and it comes with a ball and chain, that would slip through a lot easier. Or you can do your research and find out what sizes or what and you can find one that's appropriate to slip through the 550. But uh, it's a fantastic idea. Now what I did after she got it through was I just melted the ends to the ball and chain so it's not going to slide, all right? Because I don't want to lose... You know, I don't want this piece going inside there because then I can't, you know, undo it. So now, basically, we have like a necklace. So I can unclip it, put it around my neck. It's the exact length that I want. And then just, you know, behind my neck, just like a regular necklace, just clip that back in. So we're good to go. I don't have to pull it over my head. That's particularly nice if you, uh, I don't know, you're wearing a hat. Um, you know, maybe you don't want to mess up your hair or something like that. So there are a lot of advantages to doing the uh, combination of a hybrid, you know, 550 shell with the ball and chain on the inside. I think it's just super, super cool. So again, I wanna give Philip credit for that, thank you. Uh, he's not the first person to think of this. I've seen this many times. He was the first person to ever mention it to me. Uh, and then after that, of course, I would notice it places where people, maybe that picture of the EDC or something like that. I'm like, oh yeah, they did that thing where they, they used the 550 you know, sheath, I guess you'd call it, the outside and gutted it. And then for the core, they used the ball and chain. It is a really an awesome combination. It's super cool. So. I wanted to spray this just in case you never saw it before to give you the idea to try it. Again, Amazon, eBay, wherever you want to get ball and chain, just uh, try to do a little research to figure out diameters on things so you don't get a ball and chain that's too thick. 
because you don't want this to be a massive project like this happened to turn into. But in the end, it worked out great. All right, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is a cool idea. And also, Philip gave me another idea for a neck knife modification, which I will have to do in the future. I have to actually order the part. And now that I'm talking about all this, I'm reminding myself of doing that. So I am quite literally making a note on my phone so I do not forget. So, yeah. Yeah, hang on. It's kind of silly. I can just edit this out, right? But I'm not going to. All right, so there we are. I have a little note on my phone now because I have to order a piece on Amazon that goes to a motorcycle. Not necessarily just a motorcycle, but this one's going to come from a motorcycle, I guess. And I know that sounds super confusing, but we're going to utilize that in the future. So you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about down the road when I do that project. And who knows, maybe that's another year <laughs> before I get around to it. But anyway, that's all. Let me know down in the comment section. Do you do this? Have you done the combination paracord ball and chain together? You know, do you do something completely different I never heard of before? I'd love to, love to know. I love learning stuff. So let me know in the comment section. Anyway, that's all. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.